wheelhouse tiny homes and we're showing you our first model it's a 35 foot wood structure and it's made for grown-ups who want to live in a tiny house so you'll see it has an, an actual bedroom that you can walk around it has all full-size appliances washer dryer tub with a shower in it a nice big loft for storage a living room has a TV there's custom cabinets all throughout and full-size appliances stove included dishwasher I honestly thought it would be millennials but we seem to be appealing to people and there's seniors who really love the idea of living simple off the grid and there's a lot of young families who want to take it out and live in it but the problem is there's nowhere too local to live in so it's more places like Seashield or Abbotsford or Sunshine Valley that are accepting of tiny homes right now. People are stressed. Like the one girl that was just in here, she said, I've got too much stuff. I'm like, well, we can blame homes. <laughs> but, you know, we all want more stuff because we have nothing to do except go shopping. You know, people want to get off grid, get back to being outside. And that's why we started the tiny homes because I have a place on the Sunshine Coast and we're never in the house. You're out, you got your kayaks, you're seven ocean beaches right close to where you live. Yeah, we have to work, but right after work, down to the beach, everybody's outside. Dress for it even in the winter time. It's not winter's pretty cool in the yard. Yeah. I'm actually, my daughter, You're in love? I'm actually obsessed with these things. I don't know, they just seem like a better option. For that. Be. When I watch them on TV, that's I what it's I've been like, saying. really? Like, that's what I've been saying. I have no interest in their tiny habits, but this is very cool. Wow. I'm trying to film in between. This is beautiful. Thank you. It's beautiful. With all the windows, the open spaces, it's bright, it's cozy, it's just perfect. The important stuff, probably the trailer and like the main structure, electrical, plumbing, get that done. You click on, you, you can have two or three different options. This is the most expensive option. Mm -hmm. All right, Heather, so I've looked at these places and I'm pretty impressed. And I got to thinking, why wouldn't I just buy a trailer as opposed to a, a tiny house? Well, a lot of people ask that because it might be less expensive, but this is actually a house. It's a structure. It's wooden and it doesn't have off gas. And if you walk into a mobile home, take a deep breath, you're gonna feel sick. Everything made in there is plastic and the customization, like this one has a bathtub. It's really tough to get a full bathtub in one of those plastic RVs, it just, don't, it just it doesn't happen. So there's a lot of reasons to have this. This isn't gonna rot away, it's not gonna leak. The way these are built, they're just like a house. So as long as you maintain the exterior siding, it, it will last as long as you last. 